and welcome to the Adamant Temple. I'm Dan Mack, and I'm here to give you an update about what's been going on lately. First of all, yes, I am in my underwear. Secondly, I'm sure if you live in the northeastern area of the states, you've been enjoying the snow as I have. Good reason to stay indoors and do stuff. Hey. So here's what's been going on lately. As you may have seen, I started posting the Digital Rain Gaming Goals videos, which are due out once every month or so, usually on the first of the month. This month's goals have gone a little bit slow, but I'm getting close to finishing them, and I've already started writing for the next one, so that'll probably be out on March 1st. Now, in the introduction to my channel, I mentioned that I was going to be starting a web series based on playing the hardest games ever, as stipulated by the gamers. Um, it was tentatively titled Rage Quit. I've changed the name now to The Arcade of Futility. I decided that Rage Quit was too common a phrase, too overused, and it really didn't reflect on what I wanted to do for the show. So, the show is going to be now be called The Arcade of Futility. It should be out in the next two weeks or so. Um, I've already finished writing the first episode, and I'm working on history of the games for the next two or three. So, that should be up and coming in the next two weeks or so. I also said in the intro that I'd be posting a Let's Play series for the sake of fun, and I've actually started doing that as of about four days ago. It's under the title Recreational Warfare. The first game we played was Castle Crashers. Um, the video footage I got from that, I ended up splitting up into about nine total episodes. Uh, I plan to post them every three days, so the next episode is actually up on the 15th, and it'll be posted every three days after that until March 5th. So, you have to deal with the unfortunate sound issues of those episodes until then. Um, yeah, don't bother pointing out the, the sound issues with those videos. Um, I didn't realize that it was such a problem until afterward. I have to toy around with the settings of the sound on the Xbox and, and the, the easy cap thing that I use. Um, yeah, it, it it does sound pretty damn shit, I'm sorry, but I'll, I'm going to get that fixed for the next time we do something, so bear with me. I mentioned in my, in my, um, my last Digital Rain video that I had finished writing a review on the new Halloween album, which is, is pretty damn good. Um, I'd say check out the album, and if you want to check out my review, you can go to my blog at daftenlightenment.blogspot.com. I was supposed to do more reviews, but it didn't exactly play out that way. Um, I was going to do a review on the new Circle to Circle album. Uh, I was going to do potentially one on the new Tomahawk album, but I just couldn't find the time to do that. And then I was going to do one on the new Mothership album, which actually isn't a new album. It's just being released on vinyl, which, yeah. So I don't have any album reviews set for the near future. The next thing that I know of that are coming out are KMFDM and Stradivarius. So I'm considering one of those, despite the fact that I'm not entirely familiar with either band's full catalog. So we're going to have to see how the next two weeks plays out. Now I don't really have any sort of uh, other ideas for the top five list yet. Um, I could go with the obvious ones, top five artists of all time, in my opinion, top albums, which I haven't even thought about. Um, you know, just, I, I, I want something a little bit more, you know, creative in the top five lists, and I, I'm hoping for some suggestions from some people. Um, I'm hoping that once the first video comes out and people see it and get an idea of what uh, I'm all about as far as my music, they can sit there and pinpoint what kind of top five list they can ask me for. Um, I guess I'll leave you with, with what my top three artists of all time are. That way you get a little bit of an idea um, of what you could be looking toward as far as top five suggestions. Now I had mentioned last time that I'm documenting my entire uh, music collection, which is about 95% complete. Um, I'm just trying to make the, the spreadsheet look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Um, the way I had it originally, it looked really, it looked really bad. It wasn't organized very, very well. Um, now it's a little bit easier to navigate. Um, it's a little bit more uh, spread out. There's a lot more columns, um, but that should be done pretty soon. Because uh, I'm also trying to, 
you know, refill my iPod with all my music again because I deleted it all by accident. So, you know, they're kind of going hand in hand here. Um, when I finish that, I intend to get a list together of all the stuff that I'm willing to get rid of. Some of the stuff in the music collection that I have now I'm willing to get rid of, but I also have, you know, uh, hundreds of CDs and whatnot aside that I want to sell. Stuff that I've picked up really cheap from music stores, you know, when they were a, a dollar for one song that I liked, you know, that kind of, that kind of thing. Uh, also, I used to work at a music store, so I used to get a lot of free promos from there. I don't need them. I don't want them. So I'm going to be selling all that stuff soon. Um, I'm sure I'll make a video about it. When I uh, when the time comes, I'll put it all up on Half.com and eBay, and then you guys can just buy my stuff. And finally, the uh, the riff track that I've been working on with Pat from the Guest Nation. I'm not going to make a guarantee that it will be recorded and released this month. There's only two weeks and two days left in the month. Um, but I will say that it will likely be completely scripted by the end of this month. We are uh, more than 80% of the way through, you know, completely cementing all the jokes and whatnot. Um, we've been hanging out, um, you know, once, twice a week to get it done. Um, but, you know, there's only so much of that movie we can handle at this point. We've been working on it for three years. Slowly, obviously. But we just, you know... We can't handle that movie anymore. Anyway, that's what's been going on lately. Um, not really anything new, just kind of updating the old. So you can uh, contact me at adamanstemplum at gmail.com, or you can follow me on Twitter, username Novus Redemptor. Um, until next time, I bid you adieu.